Welcome to the WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast, Ask Anything, Episode 12, where designers and hosts Tom and Tracy Hazard answer your questions about the who, where, why, how, and what of fused filament fabrication. Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Tracy. And this is WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast, Ask Us Anything segment. Well, almost anything. I agree. So our questions today, which came over our website SpeakPipe button. That's right. For those of you that don't know, uh, go to our website, hasdesign.com, to our Ask Us tab. And you'll see down on that page is a button where you can, as long as you have a microphone on your computer, you can just... You can do it on your phone. Or your phone. That's right. Just uh, talk into it and ask us any question. So today's question is from Lara from LA. And she's asking us, can you get custom colored filament? <laughs> oh, if that isn't the $10,000 question, because well, that's about what it's going to cost you. If it isn't the 1,000 roll question. 1,000 roll question. Cool question. <laughs> exactly. It's one of my biggest problems right now, because I want custom colors. I want the color I want. We're designers, and yeah. so color is obviously very important to what we do. And, and since we've gotten involved in 3D printing, we've really been quite disappointed at the availability of different colors of filament well and based on what Lara put in her profile here she's got she's got an issue because she's working in the wedding business so what bride doesn't want her color <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense that she's looking for custom colors here too but a thousand rolls well when we we've that's been, a lot of money we've been looking into this issue yeah. many times over the last yep. year I guess uh, as we wondered what does it take and we've talked to several different filament yep. distributors and uh, even some manufacturers and at first they told us you know what it's going to take a thousand spool minimum but it's not just a thousand rolls they also said it would take like eight weeks no 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 that was uh the first one was like uh, six months six months to oh yeah that was color. six months but eight weeks and then eight weeks to yeah. just to prove a color and then you got to run it i think and then the other problem is is that they'll match a color any pantone or any color chip you have they'll match a color for you but they're going to give you a chip so you don't even get to test it on your printer to see if it looks good in filament. Or, or in what you want to print. Yeah. So there's That's a lot issue. of difficulties in doing it. Now, as we continued to look at other possibilities yeah. of this, I think we got down to the lowest minimum order quantity was 300 spools, I think. Right. To do a custom color. But still... That's enough filament for us to use for the next probably 10 years. Yeah. So it's really not feasible right. on an individual basis. But I think that if you had a big corporate client, so if you were, you know, if you were designing for Coca-Cola and you needed Coca-Cola red, you know, I mean, that makes sense. So maybe they would be worth paying for because you have a setup fee that happens with it. So I think in a corporate situation, you might, that might work. I don't think some bride well, is going to spend, no. you know, what is, what is that? 300, you know, maybe what? Thirty bucks a roll. Thirty dollars a roll times three hundred. I mean, it's yes, it's a lot. lot. If it's like what nine thousand dollars a filament or something. Yeah. So that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no no one's gonna do that. But maybe a big corporation who knows that they're gonna print these things again and again. That makes it worth it. Maybe. But yeah. I'll I'll tell you this, Laura. It's our pet peeve and yeah. it's a mission of ours. So we're continuing to work on this. So uh, stay tuned to our podcast in the future, and we'll we'll be updating well, and everyone. We should on mention this. that there are some filament makers out there like a filibot um, mm. where you can sort of extrude your own filament the problem with that is is that I, it's not i you know i i we need to explore it i mean we haven't really explored it enough but my understanding is is that the consistency is an issue so if you want to if you do it once and you have enough and it happens to come out really even then you're able to print what you need but if you need to repeat it it's not always as easy to get the color and well, again not only plus, that i mean you're right. We we didn't mention yeah. custom extruding your own. You, you can. There are kits where you can make equipment to do it, or you can yeah. buy equipment to do it. Um, we haven't seen that really catch on very much. It's except kind of difficult. It's highly technical, yeah. and you have to buy large quantities of the resin. And then there are issues about properly uh, heating and drying that resin yep. before you use it. There's a lot of, I mean, it, there's a science to making filament and I guess we just don't really recommend making that a DIY project. Yeah. And my, my background is in colors. So I've done that where you color match out a lab and getting colors right uh, from time to time and from, from one batch to another is extremely difficult. So that's where you, you also will run into trouble with that. So we just haven't gone down that road because that's just an, it, if anyone would be capable of it, it should be me, and I still don't want to go down that road. 
But you know what? We're open-minded. So yeah. if there are any of you listening to this podcast out there and you say, you know what? There really is a good DIY solution and you've had good results with it. We'd love to hear about it. So, uh, you know, yeah, get in touch with us and we'd love to have you on for an interview. And, you know, we'll be happy to revisit the issue. Yeah, and absolutely. We're, we'll, we're happy to have our minds changed on this. But Yeah, uh, we'll like also, said, you know, you want us to test out a product. We're happy to do that. Um, there are rules about us testing products. We should mention that. That's right, for reviews um, of... We, of will, we do not accept free product. So we'll uh, you're loaning us the product, but we will return it to you. If you don't want it returned to you, we'll donate it to a design school. So we don't accept any product. If we love it, we will buy it because we will want to keep it. But we just don't do that. Um, it's kind right. of part of our process here. Um, and um, our uh, product review guidelines are on our website as well. So you can find that on hasdesign.com. All right. Well, thanks, Laura. I hope that helps you uh, with your question. And We'll keep searching for an answer for you. So thanks for uh, listening to this podcast, and we will talk to you next time on WTFFF.